Hey y'all, so today is, um, I got a vent. Okay, um, I guess I can kind of start from the beginning. Um, so yesterday, or okay, so this past, I guess, cup week, I guess this past week, I've kind of been really out of it. I guess since the 4th. Um, uh, oh bless you! Um, since the 4th, I've been really out of it. Um. Like, I'm super down, easily annoyed, um, paranoid, um, my hips been hurting me, my back's been hurting me, my wrists kind of been hurting me a little bit, um, I just been real short with my husband, especially my kids, um, I just... I don't know. I, I've been taking my medicines. I have been taking my medicines. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, where do I start? Okay, I guess I can start with my kids. So the one, the one that I'm having the most problems with is Bella, my honeybee. She is now 13 and she acts like she's 18, like she deserves everything. You know, she wants to drive my car now. I have been teaching her how to drive, but now it's like she wants to drive it, you know, to the store or to the block or whatever. I'm like, no, no. One, I need to be mentally prepared to, to drive to drive with her you know and I don't really drive that much and if I do drive it's to the store and back like literally point A to point B and that's it um she doesn't want to help with anything around the house like I have to you know, tell her multiple times and I really am trying like I'll say Bella 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 can you can you wash the baby? Bella, Bella, can you wash the baby? Bella, Bella. And it, after a while, I'm like, God damn it, Bella, what the fuck's wrong with you? Can you just please watch the baby? Please, just real quick. And, and it's like, she only wants to, she only wants to be talked to while being yelled at. Like, she doesn't want to, want me to talk to her normal. She wants to be yelled at. Like, I don't get it. It takes... It it takes so much energy for me to get her to do anything. She doesn't want to help me with the, with the yard. She doesn't want to help me with the garden. She doesn't want to help me with the baby. She doesn't want to help me clean up. She doesn't want to help me the vacuum. She doesn't want to help me to do the dishes. She doesn't want to help me to clean the restrooms. And, I mean, she doesn't want to help me, period. And, of course, I'm doing it. And, and but Abby, you know, Abby's been helping me out, my honeybee. She's been helping me out a lot, you know. And I'm just truly grateful for her. Um, she has been helping me a lot. Um, I mean, she, if I ask her to watch the baby real quick, she watches him, you know. And, and the reason why I would have or ask them to watch the baby is if I'm not feeling good or my back's hurting me or I'm getting those stupid headaches or I'm just not feeling good um you know I'll go to the room go chill out let me rest and uh and then they'll you know Abby will watch him for me uh, you know just if she doesn't even have to like really watch just kind of like make sure he's not you know getting into anything that's all it is you know uh ace and baby which my baby b he is two and a half years old so you know he's gonna get into stuff but i mean at least you you know you don't have to like hold his head up or uh hold his bottle or anything like that you know like he can drink out of a cup he can eat by himself i normally well of course i have to feed him I don't know. And then Bay Mikey, my killer bee. Bay Mikey, I mean, he's he's good. I mean, all he does is just 
watches videos, play games, or plays with Asa. You know that. You know he's he's. Uh, Bay Mikey is eight. Eight years old. Nine years old. Oh hell, I don't forgot. <laughs> nine years old. <laughs> he's nine. So you know he he can just you know entertain the baby. And uh, you know I've been trying to get him to read a little bit. Um, Bay Mikey, he does have ADD, ADHD. He does take his medications in order for him to like you know stay calm. I am just so exhausted. I am so tired. Like I finished my um, sheep quilt already, and uh, right now it's actually in the embroidery shop to do my logo. Um, and because uh, it's it's too big, it's too fluffy. I get. I think it's the batting. The batting is just too fluffy for my machine. Um, I've never really used that batting before, and I mean, I just had a little piece, and you know, and I literally was cutting pieces together and zigzagging it together so that way I can use it. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, and then like. Another thing is is my house. Oh. My house. Okay, so my house was built in 73. And I think we are the one, two, three. Yes, we are the third owners of this house. Uh, my husband, he actually... <laughs> he actually dated one of the daughters that lived here. Um, you know, back then the first owners so yeah that's pretty funny but um but yeah we haven't done anything to the house I don't know how to do carpentry I don't know I don't know I know how to fix a car I know how to change oil I know how to change a battery I know how to go in and and uh, redo a whole engine stuff like that but when it comes to a house I have no idea and I but I am also like terrified of electric because I always have the fear that I'm gonna get electrocuted <sighs> so like the side of our house is literally falling falling apart like there's a hole in the side of our house um, our shed is falling apart there's a hole on the side of the house, on the side of the shed, and on top of the roof. Our back porch has a hole on the roof, on the top part, due to hail. Uh, one of our trees is falling apart. I had to pull one of the limbs because it like broke, and so it was like this. And so I pulled one of the limbs off. And it fell off the, the the tree. And last week I I trimmed up some of those um, uh, limbs and I put it in the um, the uh, um, Dagon uh, trash can for uh, for the trash people. The land, not the landfill one. <sighs> But I still got some more limbs I got to trim off. I cut the yard. I mean, our yard looks good. <laughs> our yard looks good, you know. Um, there's just so much stuff uh, that needs to be done, especially the kids' room. The kids' room needs to be done. The fan in their room doesn't work anymore. And the light in it doesn't work anymore. So they have a lamp. They have Christmas lights in their room for for lamp for light for lighting um the window right here my window uh has a crack and i've been putting uh over time i've been putting um duct tape on it to keep the window here at hair at here my garage is a mess there's just so much stuff and like i try to get rid of stuff and it just somehow it doesn't go away I don't know <laughs> um, I don't know 
I'm just I'm just overwhelmed I'm just overwhelmed and I feel like I'm a burden to my family especially to my husband you know because I can't work anymore and the reason why I can't work anymore is due to my PTSD because I kept on having too many episodes at work so now I'm just here like I want to cry and I can't even I can't even cry because the medication is in me I it, I don't know but yesterday was a really bad day I mean extremely bad day and then with Bella back talking to me and being extremely disrespectful to me I mean that just that just made it go haywire so right now I am actually quilting a quilt that I had actually been that I I had started um, I think it was like yeah yeah two and a half years ago before Ace of Baby was born I started this quilt two and a half years ago and I've had so much time like this past two three four weeks month that I actually got it done so now I'm just quilting it and uh, it calms me down it calms me down but And none of my family is here. All of my family is either in Victoria or in Oklahoma. So, yeah, I have I literally have nobody here for me in Austin, other than my BFF. And that's it. I have nobody. <sighs> well, anywho. I am going to continue my sewing and I'll just leave it at this. I'm I I'm still here. I'm still here. I I don't know. Uh, I'm still here. I know that much one day at a time right now let's do I've actually been doing it um, instead of one day at a time because I feel like that's too much for me I'm doing it every one meal at a time we had breakfast I'm here we had lunch I'm here now let's make it to dinner so, I hope you like. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that other good stuff, what all that YouTube says. And I'll see y'all in the next. Peace.